Good morning, everyone. This is Jerry O'Malley reporting from Philadelphia. Welcome to the second part of our video tour, a video blog uh, of our, my recent trip to Hanoi, Vietnam, where I spoke at the Asia Pacific Association of Medical Toxicology annual meeting. If you remember, last week we received a tour of the front part of the emergency department of Bac Mai Hospital, which is the largest hospital in Vietnam, by the associate director of the Poison Control Center, Dr. Xuan Thang Thi. This installment takes us further into the hospital, into the Poison Control Center part. You know, the Poison Control Center at Bac Mai General Hospital is different from the Poison Control Centers that we're used to here in the United States because there they actually treat patients. <clears throat> and some of the poisonings that those doctors deal with are really quite exotic. Snake bites and uh, pesticide poisonings. Uh, very challenging, as you can imagine. So, and I'll also show you some of the other uh, entertainment that we were treated to uh, while I was over there. So, I hope you enjoy this video blog of my recent trip to Hanoi. And thanks. Bye. Um, this patient is a uh, have no we have no bleds in the ICU because uh, in ICU we have just uh, 30 beds only. 30, okay. Yeah. So sometimes uh, we have to keep the patient in in emergency. That's why I say that in fact some patient is more than 24 hours. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Uh, um, in the Bạch Mai Hospital, in the Tiching Hospital, it as well as the highest level of the hospital, the hospital. Right. Yeah, we have uh, many guys uh, from the uh, district hospital and all province. Hospital. Province provincial hospital, and okay. And it's a, a central, big center like Bạch Mai. It's the highest level. So with uh, some serious patients, they transfer to Bạch Mai Hospital. Sometimes, uh, very often. We just uh, haven't got enough the bed for the patient. So with a serious patient, one person a bed. But in a lighter or in another department, maybe two, three, or four patients one bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. In my, in my emergency medicine in my hospital, sometimes the patients will wait for you know two or three days sometimes in the emergency room. Maybe a week, maybe ten days. Maybe have no chance move to ICU. ICU. Yeah. 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 We have to share patient because in the past, uh, uh, emergency room, ICU, and poison control center, we work together. In the past, that's intensive care. But when everything is spent, we just separate emergency, ICU, and PCC, poison control center. Right. But uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, we have to work together. Sometimes we, uh, they have to, it's because of very uh, stressful, they have to transfer the patient to the poison control center, even not poison patient, because uh, with, uh, some place can uh, Ventilator, mechanical ventilation only. I see. Yeah. So, it's a big problem, but I don't think we do can. You, do, you, do you take it that sometimes the poison, poison patients stay down here? Uh, but sometimes, but uh, all terms of poison patients, they move to the, the second floor where it's a poison control center. Yeah. Do you visit the poison control center? In, 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 uh, where, in my in city? Vietnam? No, in oh. Vietnam. I have no, I've never yeah. seen the post control center. Take a look and I will show you in the. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. These are only, for the most part, just poison patients, right? Whoa. We have a three unit. These are lab, small lab only. A small lab for the to analyze the toxic. Uh -huh. And uh, one is an information unit. But uh, everything is with uh, staff. We now try with the staff and database. And uh, it's a big one. The biggest uh, unit in our PCC is a clinical unit. And we treat all of the uh, poisoned patients. And sometimes we just uh, have to emergency if they. Transfer person to anywhere. Yeah. So 
contact with share patient with uh, emergency, sometimes with uh, intensive care. Okay. So, but uh, all of the poison patient uh, here, usually from the small hospital or district or the provincial. Province, right. Yeah. And uh, some patient is, uh, uh, live uh, around in Hanoi, and they come. Um, Are these most? Is it a kind of mostly drug overdose or most, alcohol or yeah. snake bite? Most or? common is food poisoning. Food poisoning, really? Sure. Wow. <laughs> That's, yeah, but uh, some uh, very common is a snake bite. Yeah. And snake bite, bee sting, and mushroom. But snake bite is most common, uh, but uh, usually in the summer. Yeah. Uh, because uh, in uh, Vietnam and in Hanoi, we have uh, some uh, small village. The yeah. farmer grow up snake. He grows the snake? Yeah, grows snake for, for sale to for sale. Chinese or wow. to, yeah, so sometimes uh, we have some uh, uh, patient because, uh, uh, do, uh, because um, you know, when they uh, grow up in snake, good uh, bunkerus can, can reduce this uh, no. Usually they grow up uh, king cobra. King cobras? King cobra, and uh. if they want the king cobra go fast, they have to uh, force king cobra eat uh -huh. much, and one hand with king cobra, one hand with a non-toxic uh, snake. Uh -huh. They put together to force. Really? The, yeah. So they so, shove the non-toxic snake into the king cobra to make him eat it. Yeah, to to, oh. to, to eat and to make it go faster and uh, earn more money. Wow. So sometimes I shouldn't uh, snake by by or some um, other. Uh, people is a grow up uh, uh, atra or some some kind of uh, cobra. Cobra. Yeah. Today because we have a meeting, so we have to discharge some patient to another department because we lack of the doctor and to take care of the patient. I got you. This patient is a. Uh,